Hello everyone, Mr. Knorr here. Today we are going to be making a moon base in Tinkercad. This is part one, where we're just gonna make the basic outline of our moon base. Part two, we add detail. Part three, we add the lunar surface. So I'm gonna start with a rounded roof. Now this is gonna act as my airlock into my moon base. And it's important to have an airlock because our moon base has internal pressure. That's the atmosphere that we have inside. And because we have an atmosphere inside of our moon base and there's no air on the surface of the moon, if you were to open the door to your moon base with no airlock, all that air would just rush out. You'd be left with no air, plus everything inside your moon base would probably be evacuated. So <laughs> we need to have an airlock. Uh, I'm not gonna add any of the doors or details, it's just gonna be there to symbolize. We'll also notice that if you ever do a search on moon bases on Google, you'll notice that all of the structures are spherical or have curved surfaces. And that's just because the same thing, when you inflate a balloon, you have curved surfaces just because of that internal pressure and the load uh, or the stresses that's put on the structure are distributed across the curve. So you don't see a lot of square uh, or prism moon bases. So we're gonna put our first uh, pod right here. We're just gonna call these pods. So we have our first pod and I'm just gonna do a couple more pods here. So each one of these is gonna be a different area where our astronauts can live and work and do research while they are on the lunar surface. So let's give a couple pods. Maybe they're different sizes because one of them we're growing food, one of them we're living in. Uh, maybe this is kind of the entertainment. You know, you show up on the moon base and there's some entertainment here. Maybe we even have one. Uh, let's do like a polygon. This is gonna be kind of cool. We'll do a polygon. And then we'll put one that's a little bit higher up. So let's, we'll do like a whole sphere. And let's raise this up. So we've got this whole sphere. And there we go. So we kind of have our moon base. We've got our different pods. Now, because of that whole internal pressure and needing airlocks, we want to connect our pods together. So uh, I would do that again with a rounded roof. You could just copy and paste your airlock. I'm just going to make another one, kind of bring it out, turn them, however you want. Again, this is all up to you, however you want your moon base to look. This is just supposed to be um, a little inspirational for you. Now, if you copy and paste something that's already been rotated and you start squishing it, you're going to notice that you get these weird, like it squishes now and it goes along that same point. So you see how it's like curved to one side. So just be careful that when you rotate something and then you start messing with the length and width and height of it, um, it's gonna get a little weird. So I always start again before you rotate to start with one that's straight and then expand it out, make it bigger, however you need to do, rotate them around. Okay, oops, we lost that one we're rotating so rotate put into place and then you know maybe to get up to this one we're gonna want some some spheres to get up here so again you can make your moon base however you want it to look oh, sorry I'm gonna use a cylinder however you want it to look whatever colors you want your um, pods to be your habs your labs whatever you want to call those to um, this is your project, so it is entirely up to you how these things are going to look. All right, so as I finish up, this is the first part of a three-part series. So just keep in mind that um, as we continue to go, we're going to add more detail into our moon base, and then eventually in part three, we are going to add in the lunar surface. All right, so this is my moon base.